Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So uh, for today's video, we are going to do on this minimum support price. So we're going to talk something about the current status of these MSPs of the agriculture commodities, as well as we're going to cover some of the important points regarding this. And we're going to try to clear out our basic knowledge on this minimum support price, its advantages, its um, main objectives, right? All of that we're going to cover. And we're also going to cover some of the important topics related to this minimum support price through the MCQ series, right? So do watch this video till the end, okay? So um, yeah, my name is Hansa Noah-sama and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture um, and I've also done my post-graduation in nematology and agriculture, right guys? So uh, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also press the bell icon right here um, for further notifications for my channel for the upcoming exams. And you get, you're gonna get a good guidance through these videos uh, that we provide in our channel okay uh, and if you guys have enjoyed our session with me then do hit the thumbs up button as well and you can also share with your friends who is giving the exam so that it's gonna help them as well right uh, okay so let's go to our first slide where uh, we're gonna talk about what this minimum support price is okay so this minimum support price is basically a, a fixed price okay which are fixed by the government of India okay so this is done to basically protect the producers which is the farmers against excessive fall in the price during the bumper production years okay so the minimum support price these are guaranteed price for the produce from the government okay so these are the support prices or the minimum prices beyond which the prices cannot fall so these are fixed by the government so that beyond that uh, to protect the farmers okay so this uh basically this uh minimum support price is a uh, is a form of a market intervention by the government of india to ensure the agricultural uh, producer against the sharp fall in the farm prices okay so the uh, minimum support price uh, these are basically announced by the government of india at the beginning of the sowing season for certain crops these are on the basis on the recommendation of this commission of the agriculture cost and prices okay which is also known as a CACP so this uh, is the one uh, that recommends the government of India and through that these prices are fixed okay so these are all about the minimum support price what this minimum support price is I hope it is clear now let's move on to our next slide where we're going to talk about the major objectives of this minimum support price so the main thing here is that the major objective is to support the farmers from the stress sale and to even procure the food grains for the public distribution okay let me just underline it this is a very important line so i think this covers the whole point of msp why it was first brought up okay so this um so it's mainly done to support the farmers from the stress whenever there are any uh fall or rise in the uh, in prices in the of the commodities so there are high chances of the risk so to remove or to reduce the risk of the farmers that they are facing uh, that they have created this uh, minimum support price right and they can also help and procure of this food grains for the public distribution as well uh, one thing is that in case the uh, in case the market price of for the commodity that will be low that uh, the announced minimum price due to the bumper production and the glut in the market, then the government agencies will come up and they would purchase the entire quantity which is offered by the government by the farmers at the announced minimum price. Okay, so that is the main objectives of this whole MSP thing. And uh, right, so now let us look at why is it important for this MSP, right? So uh, the first thing here, uh, this MSP, they will ensure the farmers to get a price for the produce in adverse markets okay so sometimes uh, what happens is that this price is very volatile um, uh, right so it makes the life more difficult for the farmers right so through the prices uh, though the prices of these agriculture commodities they may soar or they may rise while in short supply but during the years of this buffer production the prices of the very same commodity which was very high before they may fall okay so due to this these MSPs they will ensure the farmers to get a minimum uh, price for the produce in the adverse markets right and these MSPs they also have been used by as a tool by the government to uh, incentivize the farmers to grow crops 
and they are in which are in short supply okay so this is why this msp is very important right i hope this is clear guys um now let's move on to another uh, slide where we're going to talk about the factors determining the uh, msps so it's not a uh, let's not just go uh, in depth so we're just going to read out these points so just knowing these points uh, of these factors is more than enough right for your knowledge okay so the first thing is that the cost of production will definitely determine the msp right and the second is changes in the input prices uh, we also have input and output price parity the trends in the market prices demand and supply as well into crop price parity, effect on the industrial cost culture, uh, effect on cost of living, effect on general price level, parity between the prices paid and prices received by the, uh, by the farmers as well, and as well effect on the issues of the prices which are implicated by the, for the subsidies. So these are some of the factors which determine the uh, MSP, right? So um, and now let's move on to our question series now. So we're going to talk more, uh, so we're going to solve the questions and uh, we're going to discuss okay these are all related all those questions that are framed these are all related to msp right um all right so the first thing is that uh, the first question says when did the government announce the msp for the first time okay so this has to be in india so when did the government of india announce the msp for the first time right so the options given here are 1977 to 1978 number b says uh, 1966 to 77 and number C is 2000 to uh, 2001 and we have D which says 2004 2005 right and number E is 1964 to 1965 right guys so the right answer for this is 1966 to 1967 okay so this minimum support price they were announced by the government of India for the first time in the year of 1966 to 19. 67 right so it was during that time and it was for the crop of wheat okay so it was announced for wheat so it was done in the wake of the green revolution and extended harvest and to they also wanted to save the farmers from depleting the depleting profits okay so th i think these two uh the date for this question i would like you all to remember the date okay 1966-27 and the commodity or the agriculture commodity on with it was first created this MSP, okay? So there's a four beat on the 1966, okay? I hope this is clear, guys. And now let's go to another question. When was the Commission for Agriculture Cost and Prices established, right? So this is also known as CACP. It is a very important for MSP, okay? Uh, now, the, okay, the questions here are number, the options here are, sorry, uh, number A is 1988, number B says 1965, 19, uh, sorry, 19, Sorry, number B says 1960, number C says 1965, and we have D which says 1985, and number E is 1975, okay? So this might be a bit tricky between uh, the options, right? So let me just tell the answer. The answer is in 1965, that was the original establishment of this CACP, okay? So it is, a, it is an attached office of the Ministry of the uh, Ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and it was formed in the year of 1965 as an agriculture price commission so that was this agriculture price commission was the first name given to this CACP which is now called a CACP right and it was given this present name so it was first established in the year of 1965 as agriculture price commission then it was renamed as this CACP the commission for the commission agriculture for costs and prices, right? Uh, it was given the present name of it on the year of 1985. Okay, guys, so remember this. So this is basically a statutory body that's a sub, uh, that submits separate reports to recommending the prices for Kharif as well as for the rugby seasons. Kharif, when we're talking about, is in the monsoon season towards the, uh, uh, from June, March, May, June, July, September during this time. So any crops are, which are grown during this time zone as Kharif and Rabi is going to be the winter season crops, okay? So uh, these are something about it. And now let's uh, look more into this. The Cabinet Committee of the Economic Affairs, all right? So they are the ones who announce the MSP for various crops, okay, in the country. And they are announced at the beginning of the sowing season, right? We've already talked about it. And this is recommended by this Commission for Agriculture, 
cost and prices. So guys, uh, this point is also very important again. Um, try to remember, so it is announced by the Cabinet Committee of Economic Affairs, but then it was recommended by the Commission for Agriculture Cost and the Prices, okay? And the procurement is done by the FCI. So FCI is the Food Corporation of India, okay? So these are the nodal agencies of the government of India, and along with the state agencies, they undertake this procurement of these crops, okay? So these are something about the um, CACP, the Food Corporation of India, right? So I hope this is clear, guys. Let's move on to another question quickly. So this question here is on um, how many mandated crops are covered under this minimum support price? It's a very basic yet very important question, right? So I think it's very important for all of us who have, who have been given the exam to at least know how many crops are mandated under this MSP, okay? So the options given here are number 22, uh, and we have B which says 25, number C is 32, number D is 23, number E is 46. Okay guys, so I would like you all to guys uh, draw, answer this question. If you guys have any ideas, do drop it in the comment section, think properly, do, um, and, uh, do comment it, right? So it can be a bit tricky, but try to uh, list out all the names as well, whatever is under this MSP. Okay. Um, all right. So now let's move on to another question. Uh, question number five says recently the CCEA, right? So they have approved the increase in the minimum support prices for all mandated produce crops for marketing season of 2020 to 21. All right. So which of the following crops showed the highest increase in MSV? So you have to select which of the following crop out of these Kharif crops, which was which came out in an MSV for the right season. So out of these, well, which of these crops they showed the highest increase in the MSV? Okay. So the options given here are number A is rice. We have number B, which is like seeds. We have C, which is sugarcane, and D, cotton, and E, sesame. Right, so uh, the right answer for this is Niger seeds. So they had the highest increase of MSP is has been proposed for this Niger seed, which is rupees seven hundred and uh, with an increase of seven hundred and fifty five per quintal. And for sesame, uh, and it is followed by the increase in sesame. This is also known as till. Okay, so okay, uh, we have sesame. Right, so it's also known as sesame. Um, they have about rupees three fifty three seventy per quintal. Okay, and then we have Urut, which is also known as the black rum. Okay, so I've given a picture of this Niger seeds here. We have a picture of sesame, okay, and we also have a picture of Urut or the black rum. Okay, so they have this uh, rupees 3000 per quintal for this Urut, and we also have for cotton, which is a long staple, for the uh, right is long staple, which is run rupees 275 per quintal. Okay. So this differential remuneration is aimed to encourage crop diversification in everywhere. All right, so these are the some of the answers. This is a very important uh, point for you all to remember. High chances of this type of questions coming in the exam, okay? So be prepared with all these type of questions. Do revise it again and again so that you don't forget, okay? Nice. All right, uh, uh, now let's go to another question which says, what is the MSP for grade A rice for the cropping year of 2020 to 21? The options given here are number A is 1882. We have number B which says um, 1888. Number C is 1868. And D says 1700. And number E is 2188. So uh, the price for this is 1888 rupees. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you guys can be is it visible, but let me just read out this table for you. Okay, in the first uh, column we have commodity and we have variety, and we have this MSP for the year of 2019 to 20 for a comparison. Okay, and this one is for the present year, which is 2020 to 21. This is this page is for the curry crops. Okay, guys, curry crops, and here we've given the increase over previous years, okay, how much uh, increase has been there over the previous years, right? So, um, so remember this for paddy, we have two varieties, okay, guys. First one is just the common paddy, and we also have a great A paddy. So for common paddy, the uh, MSP is around 1868, and for the, uh, the great A, it is around 1888, and there was an increase over the previous years of about 53 in both the varieties. And now when we look into Jor, Jor, so we have another one which is hybrid, 
variety and we also have Moldambi, okay? So for the uh, MSP for this year is around 2,620 and we have 2,640 and we have around 70 increase, rupees increase was seen. And for Bajra it's around 2,150 so there was an increase of about 150 rupees. And for maize we have around 1,850 so, and there was an increase of about 90% when we compare it to the previous years. For Arhar we have around 6,000 and there was an increase of about 2,200. We have Urad, which is about 300, cotton about 260, okay? And we also have a brown nut. See, remember for cotton, we have a medium staple as well as we have a long staple, okay, guys? So uh, the long long staple, there was an increase of about 275. That's why it was in the top four, right? And this is, um, we also have a brown nut and shell, which is about 5,275. And it was about, there was an increase in about 185. So in that, we try to study for the uh, most important and the most common crops, okay? At least try to remember. It's okay if we don't remember for the uh, other crops which are not that important, but I think it's very important to uh, remember the crops for the uh, paddy, like uh, cotton, we have um, maize, all of that, jowar as well. All of these, try to remember the specific prices for these uh, this, uh, commodities as well as I will tell you guys to uh, remember the increase okay so um, yeah and another point here uh, we're going to talk about is in the ruby cross so for this ruby cross it hasn't come out so this for ruby cross is around for the 2019 to 2020 season is still marked for this present here okay so um, the wheat for the wheat we have wheat barley gram we have lentils red seeds that flower and toria okay so all of these uh if you guys uh, don't, don't have this rules, you can take a screenshot of these, okay, guys? Uh, so for read, we have around 1925, uh, about 85%, 85 increase, rupees increase. Barley, we have around 1525, 285. Gram, we have around 20, 255 increase. For Masur, we have around 325 increase. And for Toria, we also have 340. And for the other crops, we have a copra, right, which is the, by the coconut, right, so the copra, okay. So this is for the 2020 season crop, okay, it just came out. So um, previous year, it was around 909,521, and this year, it's going to be 9,960. So there was an increase, a high increase of about a 439, right. And um, we also have a day cost coconut, okay. So uh, previous year, was around 200 and 2571 and this year we have around 2700 okay um there was an increase about 129 right so um yeah so these are some of the things on the msps of the current status of this msps of the minimum support price of these agriculture commodities okay and remember guys uh, for this msps when we're talking um with this MSPs, uh, this MSPs, they will offer uh, this Kharif crop for 2020 to 21. It will be applicable from 1st September 2020 onwards only. Okay, it is not applicable now, but it will be our first uh, applicable from the September 1st September 2020. Okay, guys. So um, yeah, so that's all about it, and let's move on to another last question. National Commission of Farmers is also known as. The options given here are number A is Swaminathan Committee, we have Balaram Committee, we also have Abhijit Sen Committee, we have Kuzura Committee, and we also have number E, which says C Rao Committee. Alright, um, the right answer for this is Swaminathan Committee, as uh, this National Commission of Farmers is often known as the Swaminathan Committee because uh, it has the chairman is a Ms. Swaminathan, right? So uh, it was established in the year of uh, 2004 on 18 November by the Union government. They formed the National Commission on Farmers, okay? So the main aim or the main major objective of this committee is to provide or to come up with a sustainable farming system for the farmers, as well as to make the farm commodities cost competitive and more profitable, okay? So this is the main aim of this um, committee and in 2006 what they did was that they recommended these MSPs they, that they must be less at least 50 percent more than the cost of production okay so uh, it also talked about three levels 
So this estimation is usually done, the estimation for these MSPs, they are usually done by, on the basis of these three calculation methods, right? So you can see here, which is A2 method, we have A2 plus FL, and we also have C2 method. So um, as per the um, A2 method, right? So in this A2 method, the MSP is a set of like, well, 50%, it is higher than, uh, than the amount the farmer spends on the farming, okay? So it will include all these, uh, all these like uh, seeds, manure, chemicals, labor costs, fuel, and irrigation costs. Okay, and we're gonna talk about this A2 plus FL. FL would be like a family labor. Okay, so it's gonna be a combination of all these A2, uh, whatever is under this A2, and plus the FL, right? Um, so here in this uh, A2 plus FL, uh, so this is the present MSP. Uh, the MSP, the present MSP is usually being calculated by this on this A2 plus FL method, okay? So basically this method is like a middle ground between the other methods where the MSP is a set of 50% higher than the amount that derives from adding the amount the farmers spend on farming, which will include all the commodities, like all the inputs like cost, seed, uh, fertilizers, pesticides, labor, and the value of the labor provided by the family, etc. All of that, okay? And the last one here uh, is a C2 method. So it makes the calculation by adding a wider range of inputs, okay? So uh, this will include beside the factors uh, used for this A2, right? So they, that is, they lose out of the physical inputs or the uh, physical cost, right? So the economic value of the efforts of the family members who are working on the farm and the value of the other spending, including the rent and other assets are also included in it, okay? So this is about the C2 method. Um, yeah, so uh, so these are all of that and yeah so right now at present for this MSP you will use this A2 plus FL method okay so these are something about these uh, Swamina Committee and the uh, National Commission of on farmers okay so I hope this is clear I, we have come to the end of the session guys so uh, if you guys have enjoyed this session please do uh, hit the like button in the end and do share with your friends okay guys um, if you guys also have any doubt or if you guys have any request or any rec um, if you want to recommend any uh, kind of topic that you guys want to study then please do uh, drop it in the comment section and you can also reach out to us right and the numbers are given in the link uh, below in the description well that's all for today if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications from the channel do share with your friends um so that they'll be able to prepare well for the exams as well right so till then uh have a great day guys and we'll be meeting next week thank you